I know at least two vexillologists who are very excited about tonight's category. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Vexillology, just one of those words that once you learn it, you'll want to use it every chance you get. It's never flag making or flag knowledge. It's always vexillology or a vexillologist or I'm going to go home and do some vexillologizing for my new breakaway republic. Mike, 11-6, Jen, 10-4, Amelia, our three-time champ, looking for her third come-from-behind win. She's got 6,400. Uh, don't know what Alex was saying at the beginning of the show about how she couldn't be caught yesterday. Yeah, she could have. She could have gotten into a tiebreaker. Unless everything that I've heard and that everything that dozens of Jeopardy! contestants have told me personally that a clue like that, a situation like that would go to a tiebreaker is wrong. I am not going to believe that. And I don't think they would ever do that where two people tie and they say, well, you're the champ, you lose, sorry. Imagine what Facebook would do in that case. I mean, that page can be a minefield sometimes. Oh, speaking of Alex, there was a clue about John Sibelius, who uh, I'm sure a lot of you were just yelling at the TV, Finland, because Finnish composer, that should be top of your mind, John Sibelius. Uh, I think Mike said Norway, you know, Jen said Norway, Mike said Sweden, and it, it sounded like to me that Alex was kind of goading Amelia into buzzing in and responding. It wasn't the normal, Amelia's not going to ring in. It was more like, Amelia? Amelia's not going to try? Something like that, which I don't really like that too much. But it hasn't affected the outcome of the game so far. So let's look at these... Uh, Calculations. These two are separated by 1,200, so I'm going to subtract another 1,200 from Jen's total, and 9,200. To go for the lockout on Mike's part, 2,400 if he's wrong, so to stay above that, Jen can wager up to 8,000. And for Amelia, it's going to be 4,000. Alright, so someone could be happy with the wagers tonight, other than me. 6,400 double up, 12,8. That's going to give... Uh, Is that 2,000? Yeah, 2,000. And uh, I guess if Mike wants to cover, that's going to be a wager of uh, 1,200. No. Yeah, why say 2,000? I even wrote 2,400. Man. Something in the water here. All right, so we're done with that. Now we'll look at... Oh, wait. i got to go down here. Jeez. Uh, 8,000, right? Yeah, 8,000, so that's 1,600. Now, Amelia, and I guess if, no, if Amelia's not scared of Mike making this wager, I'm not going to calculate that, it's kind of dumb. Although, watch, it's going to bite me in the behind later. All right, let's look at second order wagering. Uh, let's start with Jen, this 8,000 amount. Probably unlikely, but... We'll go for it anyway, team four. It's going to be a wager of uh, 70, you know, 6,800. Mike's wrong with that. He's going to be left with 4,800, right? Yeah, okay. So that means uh, 3,600 at most for Jen. Put that up here. No, not 3,600. Man, what is going on? 5,600. I was doing the minus 1,200, but I did the minus 1,200 from the wrong spot. Oof. All right, Amelia, with that 4,000 wager, that's 10-4 exactly for Jen. So I guess Jen could stand pat if she wants. And I might expect Amelia to go for 4,000 even. That'd be a good wager for her. Uh, that might affect Mike if... Everyone's playing mind games, but Jen has no reason to go all in. So maybe he goes for the tie. And there is that also the 1,200 downside possibility, which is also kind of interesting. Anything else here? No, I think that's about it. So now we'll look at the zero wagers. Mike and Jen separated by 1,200. So here's that 1,200 amount there for him. 1,200, 2,400 here, 
That's good. Um, Amelia and Jen are separated by 4,000, that 4,000 amount. So I'm going to, I'm going to hope that Amelia goes for 4,000 even. I'm expecting Mike to go for 9201, but we'll have to see about that. And as for Jen, this is a interesting situation. Uh, she, well, she should cap her wager at 4,000. Uh, I'd go $39.99 where I gen, so, uh, minus one. Yeah, Mike has that option to go for the zero amount, 9200 even, but I'd probably go for the extra dollar just because Amelia uh, hasn't been too savvy with the wagers except for yesterday, so. I will go watch now and see what happens. Well, that was a toughie. I put down St. Vincent and the Grandines just to have something. I started out with Franciscans because of the current Pope. I wonder if there's a better way to think about a question like that. I mean, there are a certain number of answers, but where do you start and where do you... or how do you cycle through those things? So I was going through mendicants, Waldensians, that's about that time, it's probably 1300s. And uh, it's not one of those things you expect to have to go through on a category about flags. So if you have any ideas on that, I'd love to hear it just because uh, I would have loved to have that one, gotten that one right. And uh, you know, I finished out this week on not such a great note. Those last two, pretty tough. That Stromboli one yesterday is probably going to pull around 12%, I'm going to guess, on Jboard. And uh, this one, probably significantly higher, I'd say 45, 50, 55 percent, but still kind of a tough clue. Congrats to Mike for getting it. Uh, Amelia and Jen both kind of threw their chances of winning away because, you know, Mike is a good player. He's probably going to bet on himself, and he goes for that lockout. You can't win unless he misses, so you might as well position yourself to win if he does miss. And Amelia, I don't know what that 5200 amount was. I think she just took the difference between these two and forgot that you actually have to double it on the downside because if you subtract that away from, well, double that, it's gonna double that, okay, whatever. Clearly I need a weekend to refresh my brain and uh, I will do that now. I hope your weekend is good as well. And we'll see you right back here on Monday on the final wager.